Welcome back to the Walther Lover channel, everyone, a place where we discuss general gun and shooting topics. We do gun reviews, gear reviews, talk about competitive shooting, and my love of Walther firearms. Thank you so much for checking this video out. Tonight, we've got a review for you, and it's something kind of interesting, certainly interesting to me, hopefully to you as well. We are talking a little bit about a CZ. Now, for those in the gun community, I think we would all agree that CZ makes some pretty spectacular firearms. It would be hard not to at least respect the heck out of what CZ has been able to do with their guns, especially in the modern age. So what are we talking about? Well, we are talking about this thing. So safety first, a mag out, and that mag is empty. Chamber is clear. Gun is empty. That gun is safe. So what do we have here for you tonight? We have a CZ75 SPO1 Shadow Duotone by CZ Custom Shop. Yep, that's a mouthful, right? Uh, but that is what we have for you tonight. Very interesting firearm. The CZ75. So I won't get into a whole history lesson, right? Because it's involved and it's complicated and it's been happening for a long time. So the CZ-75 came out in the mid-70s and there have been tons of variants. There have been tons of versions. There have been tons of copies, some of which are very good. Uh, so there is a long, complicated history of the CZ-75. That being said, uh, this gun has gone through uh, a lot of transformations and has been taxed with serving multiple roles through the course of history since the mid-70s, from your all-steel daily carry guns to some polymer versions to some law enforcement military-issued versions up to the modern day when you've got some truly amazing competition-grade guns right out of the box. So the CZ-75 history is, uh, is a big one. It's fascinating. Again, I won't get into all that tonight. If you want to know more, uh, there's some research to be had out there. Hit me up in the comments, and, and I'll direct you to some resources to learn a little more about CZ-75. But tonight, let's talk about this very, very interesting firearm. So let's take an up-close and personal look at the SP-01 Shadow Duo Tone by CZ Custom Shop. Give you some specs. We'll come back. We'll talk about how it shoots and all of the magic that this gun can create. So stand by. Okay, here we go. CZ-75 SP-01 Shadow Duotone from the CZ Custom Shop. There it is. Safety first, as always. You see the magazine is not in the gun. That chamber is empty. We are clear. Magazine is also empty, and there is no ammunition anywhere to be found. There we have it. CZ-75 SP-01 Shadow Duotone from the Custom Shop. This gun is 8.15 inches long, 5.79 inches high, 1.46 inches wide. Um, starting here, we've got a very aggressive uh, grip that comes from the factory. I am a big fan of these grips. Very, very aggressive. Texture, front and back, easy to get a good grip on. Extended mag release, super easy to get a hold of. Very cool. Moving up, we have an ambidextrous safety. Very cool. Here's your slide lock, slide release lever here. Very cool. Hammer is a competition hammer. That is one of the add-ons from the CZ Custom Shop. Looking at that thing, skeletonized hammer. Moving up to the slide, we have pretty typical CZ serrations, rear and front. Those front serrations are in an excellent position for press check. Regardless of how you do it, it's pretty easy to get a hold of. Same thing with the texture in the rear. Very cool. On top of the slide, we have fully adjustable rear, blacked out serrated sight. And on the front, we've got a fiber optic. Super, super cool for competition for sure. Texture on the, on the top to reduce glare. Very cool. Cold hammer forged barrel, as they always give you. We've got a rail on the front to mount accessories if you choose on the dust cover here. Lights, lasers, weights, whatever the case may be. The real magic here, of course, the hammer. And again, we are clear, folks. 
no ammunition anywhere around. Everyone's curious about the trigger. So let's start in uh, double action. Ready? Take up. Reset. Do it again. Very, very smooth double action trigger. Very nice. Now, single action. This, to me, unbelievable. You ready? That's the take up, by the way, right there. That's it. It's all the movement you have. There's no creep. That's it. Let's do it again. Ready? Whew, man. It is hard not to love that. Ready? How about the reset? Right there. Do it again. Right there. Boom. Wow. Unbelievable trigger. So there you have it. CZ75 SP01 Shadow Duo Tone from the CZ Custom Shop. Outstanding. Outstanding. Nice beaver tail here to get a nice high grip. Take advantage of this low bore axis that these CZ guns are known for. Your hand right line with the barrel. Unbelievable. Truly spectacular. One more time because who doesn't love this? Oh, man. Okay. It's in a box, dude. Let's check it out. You get three mags, three Metgar mags, 17 plus two. It's got plus two extensions. You get three of those with this gun. Awesome. Normal CZ style, they give you your cleaning accoutrement with the gun. Very cool. Bore brush, patch rod. Super cool. Drumsticks, whatever you want to call it. Got a tool to adjust the sights, or the rear sight. Of course, the paperwork. Read the manual, man. There's always cool stuff in the manual. So you get your manual, CZ Shadow Manual. And then from the CZ Custom Shop, you get, hey, man, you got a custom gun. Here's who tested it, when we tested it. Here, they call it the Target 2. I, I'm telling you, this gun has a lot of names. And they give you their estimated trigger pulls. Uh, I don't think so. I'm pretty sure we're lighter than that, but nevertheless, not an expert. And there is your accuracy testing. Hard to uh, hard to question that, I suppose. There you go. So that's what you get in the box. CZ75 SP01 Shadow Duo Tone from the CZ Custom Shop. I know you want to see it one more time, right? Let's do it one more time. Whew. Outstanding. There you have it, folks. Spectacular. Moving on. So now that you've seen this thing up close and personal, the obvious next questions are, how does this thing perform? How do you think it performs? Uh, exactly what you'd expect from a gun that's been in the hands of the CZ Custom Shop. This thing is amazing when you get behind it on a range. So we take a, a look at some of the video this gun is comfortable, this gun is accurate, and this gun is fast. There is nothing <clears throat> negative that I can say about this SP-01 Shadow from the CZ Custom Shop. Uh, I normally do a little quote-unquote accuracy testing. Listen, this, this gun is capable of so much more than I am. I've seen this gun in the hands of some very, very experienced shooters, and there's there's absolutely nothing this gun can't do. It's absolutely fantastic. So um, on the range, as you get this gun in your hands, uh, if you pull in double action, is so smooth and accurate. But that single action pull is truly remarkable. Absolutely remarkable. The gun will, uh, it, it, it is very unforgiving. This firearm is unforgiving. So it is not for the faint heart. It is not necessarily for the beginner. With that very, very crisp single action pull, this gun requires a lot of trigger discipline uh, to, to operate safely and effectively. 
that being said, uh, it will spoil you with this trigger work that's done. And, and look, I realize there are some other amazing companies, uh, CZ, uh, that do CZ custom work, like Cajun Gunworks. Obviously, those guys are fantastic. I've been behind some of their works of art as well, and they are pretty fantastic. And uh, this is the only model from the CZ Custom Shop that I've ever had my hands on. And it Again, there's just nothing negative you could say about this gun. Absolutely nothing negative. I like to be positive anyway, so people think I may just be, man, you're just being too nice or, or you're not picking it apart enough. I, I just really wouldn't know where to begin to pick this gun apart. Obviously, we know these... Uh, the CZ low bore axis uh, allows you to get a grip up high and, and your hand is aligned with that barrel, which helps mitigate that recoil and help control get back on target. It's just unbelievable. And that crisp single action trigger pull is, is truly remarkable. It's just really difficult to say anything negative about this firearm. I don't really know <clears throat> what you could do to make this gun any better. I, I don't think there's anything possible. Now, again, I'm not an expert, which some of you pointed out in the comments, and, and I never uh, never claim to be. I'm an average guy that loves guns, and I love this gun. This gun is hard not to love. Uh, you could potentially change the grips to make it more personal if you wanted to. I feel like the grips that come on this firearm are phenomenal. I just don't know what you would change. So, who is this gun for? What is it for? What's the intended purpose? Listen, I again talking about the 75 variants, there are there's something for everybody in the CZ75 world, whether it be daily carry, whether it be home protection, whether it be concealed carry, there is probably a 75 variant for you and for that individual purpose. This gun to me, purebred competition machine. Uh divisions in competition get a little tricky with this gun. Uh between the magazine length, uh, double action, single action, you got to know your stuff with this gun for sure. Some would say, well, why not home protection? That crisp single action pull does not give you much time to think. It's uh, very crisp and, and uh, immediate on the pull and it's single action. So I believe that this gun is a purebred competition machine. This gun is a range toy. If you are a CZ enthusiast, a CZ collector, or just a generalized lover of CZs. If you can get your hands on a CZ custom shop gun, you should. You will not be disappointed. You will love that gun. Absolutely phenomenal. Price. Well, <laughs> we all know that the, the higher end CZs, uh, even, uh, honestly, the CZ guns are not inexpensive by, by design, I'm assuming. Uh, they, they can be a little expensive. This gun, runs about $1,800. And that sounds super pricey, especially if you just start searching for an SP-01 or an SP-01 Shadow, compare it to the original price, you're going to feel like that gun is expensive. Personally, I do not feel like this gun is overpriced at all. And I'm cheap, man. So that's saying something. We have thousands of rounds through this gun. Everything from 115 grain handloads, reloads, all the way up to 150 grain action pistol ammo. This gun has never malfunctioned, has never acted goofy, has eaten anything we've put through it, has never, ever, ever shown a problem at all. I believe this gun is worth every penny of the fairly expensive price. So I don't know, maybe you have to sell an organ or sell a gun you don't use to be able to afford, if you can get your hands on one of these, I would highly recommend it. I absolutely promise you, you won't be disappointed. And if you are, hit me up in the comments and I will come buy it from you because I would buy another one of these in a heartbeat. A little hard to find. That being said, I will tell you that this gun, uh, where we came up with this gun, they have another one. They have the exact same gun currently for sale and right around that $1,800 price mark. So they're out there for sure. I've seen them online as well but they're not very common. Uh, you'd have to do some hunting, but I highly, highly, highly recommend CZ75 SP01 Shadow Duotone by CZ Custom Shop. There you have it. 
Hopefully you enjoyed this review. If you did, please, please, please hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. We are growing and I love it because it gives me another reason to talk to myself and to all of you about this stuff I love, this gun stuff. Um, if you didn't like this video, I apologize. I would love to know why. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, to address one quick comment, I realize I've never made a claim to be an expert. Not. I'm an average dude, loves guns, likes to talk about guns. So, uh, But I, somebody had put that in the comments, and I appreciate the comments either way because it gives me an opportunity to explain. So uh, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. If you didn't like it, let me know why. Come back and see us again. We should have some more interesting content for you very soon. Thanks for the support. Look forward to seeing you. Take care.